Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are learning about series 3 where we are discussing trigonometry. This is episode number 11 and friends today's topic is trigonometric ratios for zero degree angle. Let's get started. Now we know whenever we talk about trigonometric ratios it's always about a particular angle. So in this case our goal is to find out the six trigonometric ratios for zero degree angle. We always start out by drawing a right triangle. So here we have a right triangle ABC such that angle C is 90 degrees. And we would want to find out the trigonometric ratios for angle A. Because we want to find out ratios for 0 degrees, that means it's our goal will be to make angle A 0 degrees. Now let's say you have any angle. Here I'm just drawing any angle. And how do we make this angle 0 degrees? Well, one way to do that is to keep the keep one arm fixed and bring the other arm in this case down till this point and this point coincide that is how your angle a as you bring this towards the the fixed arm your angle will continuously reduce become smaller and smaller and when it is here it will become zero that is exactly what we are going to be doing so what we are going to be doing is that we are going to reduce the length BC by bringing the point B or the vertex B closer and closer to vertex C. So here friends the original triangle is represented by the dotted sign and let's call the original uh, location of vertex B as B dash. And now B is the current triangle B A C or A B C. So as you can see earlier our angle was this angle A and now it is much smaller compared to what we had earlier. Similarly as you continue to bring the side or the vertex B down that is as you continue to reduce the length B C your angle A keeps reducing. Right, so we started out with this angle for angle A and now angle A is here. Again, the dotted lines show the original triangle. Now, before we totally merge point B and point C, let's write one of the trigonometric ratios. So let's write the trigonometric ratios for sine of angle A. Remember, the whole point of doing this is to find out the trigonometric ratios for zero degrees. So sine A, we know sine A, is equal to the ratio of opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Now, our, our, in our original triangle ABC, for angle A, the opposite side is this, BC, that is the opposite side. And AB is the hypotenuse. Why? We know that the side opposite to 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. So angle C is 90 degrees, so this is the hypotenuse. So sine A is nothing but the ratio of BC, that is opposite side, divided by hypotenuse AB. AB. Right? Now let's do one thing. Let's make angle A 0 degrees. So here at this point, B and C have coincided. Right? So angle A has become 0. So here we, we will note that so sin A right now here is equal to we can actually say that sin A is 0 degrees now is equal to BC by AB. What is BC? What is the length of BC? Remember that BC has continuously become smaller and smaller and smaller and at this point BC actually is 0 divided by Hypotenuse is AB. AB. Now we know that 0 divided by anything is 0. So friends, at this point we have found out one of the trigonometric ratios. That is, we have found out that sine 0 degrees is actually 0. The value of that is 0. Let's clean this up, give ourselves a little bit more space. So we started out with our triangle here. So B dash again represents the original position of point B. So now our triangle is here with angle A is 0. 
So we just saw sine 0 degrees is equal to 0. Now what about cos 0 degrees? Well cos of angle A, cos of angle A, cos of any uh, angle is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Now adjacent side would be AC and think about it this way, your original triangle, our original triangle was ABC, right? So this was our original angle. So it just will be easier to think in terms of this angle to write the ratios. So if this was our angle A, right, initially, so adjacent side was this, this is the adjacent side. This was our hypotenuse and this was the opposite side. So cos 0 will be adjacent side which will be AC divided by hypotenuse will be a, AB. Now AC when, when we have angle A as 0 so here both B and C are the same point. So AC and AB are the same length and they cancel out so you get 1. So sine 0 is 0, cos 0 is actually 1. Now let's write tan 0 degrees. We know the tan of any angle is a ratio of sine of that angle, in this case sine 0, by cos of that angle, in this case cos 0. So tan 0 degree will be sine 0 degree divided by cos 0 degrees and sine 0 degrees is 0 we just saw that cos 0 degrees is 1. Now 0 divided by any number is 0. So tan 0 degrees is going to be 0. Now let's quickly find out the, the cosec, sec and cot. So this was our original location. This was our original angle. So this is very straightforward. So cosec 0 degrees is simply 1 by sine 0 degrees or 1 by 0. Whenever we have 1 by 0, it is not defined or undefined, whichever way you want to write it. You cannot divide any number by 0. Let's write for sec 0 degrees. Sec 0 degree is 1 by cos 0 degrees. Now 1 by cos 0 degrees is 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1. And finally we have cot 0 degrees, that will be 1 by tan 0 degree. Again tan 0 degree is, one, is 0, so 1 by 0 which will again be undefined or not defined. So friends here just to sum up what we have is the trigonometric ratios for 0. We have found out all the 6 trigonometric ratios. Sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, tan 0 is 0, cosec 0 is undefined. It is 1 by 0, so it is undefined or not defined. Similarly, sec 0 degrees is going to be 1 and cot 0 degree again will be undefined. So friends here in this webisode we learned all the six trigonometric ratios for 0 degrees.